hello viewers and welcome once again to my youtube channel in our today's class we are going to consider this equation one plus x whole in bracket to an exponent of one divided by x is equals to four so follow me let's solve this equation together uh solution solution the equation says one plus x whole in bracket to an exponent of one divided by x is equals to four so we can see that the basis from both left and right of the equation uh, is totally different what we have to understand is that we may have to uh, apply either natural or common log to both sides so let's add a natural log to both sides of this equation that means we are going to have uh, the ln of 1 plus x everything raised power of 1 over x is now equals to the ln of 4 so we know that based on a uh, certain law we know that this can come here so 1 over x multiplying the ln of 1 plus x is now equals to the ln of 4 so uh, but i know that i can multiply one with the uh, ln of this uh, uh, bunch of stuff that means i'm going to have uh, the ln of one plus x divided by x is now equals to uh, the ln of four so if we consider the argument of both left and right to be the same that means this is over one yes of course this is over one then if we consider the argument of the two uh, sides to be the same that means we are going to say that x is equals to one and if x is equals to one then one uh, one plus one is two and we can see that ln uh, to the right hand side x is not equals to uh, ln of the left hand side is not equals to ln of right hand side because 1 plus 1 is 2 and here I have 4 that means uh, x that means x uh, is not equals to 1 and if that is the case we may have a decreasing function I don't know actually but we may have a decreasing function maybe as uh, x approaches infinity maybe it may be decreasing uh, there is a whole tendency that the uh, as x approaches infinity it may be decreasing but we don't know so let's try some manipulations and see whether the right hand side would actually give us a picture or a mere picture of what we are looking for so let's go I know that this 4 is 2 squared 2 squared is 4 so what I want to write the 4 in an extraordinary format uh, this 4 4 is the same thing as 2 squared exactly this 2 this 2 can be written as 2 or 1 divided by 2 every time raised power of negative 1 this is the same thing as 4 uh, 1 divided by 2 to an exponent of negative 1 is still 2 then 2 uh, raised power of 2 is still 4 so I want to uh, write the whole of this my right hand side based on this so that means I'm going to have uh, the ln of 1 plus x uh, divided by x is equals to uh, the ln of 1 divided by 2 raised power of negative 1 uh, this part of 2 but I know that based on the law of indices that whenever I have a raised power of m n is the same thing as a raised power of uh, m n like this if that is the case I'm going to rewrite this we know that this negative one will have to multiply this uh, positive 2 that means we are going to have something like this uh, the ln of 1 plus x everything divided by x 
is now equals uh, the ln of 1 divided by 2, everything to an exponent of negative 2. So, we know that based on the law of logarithm, this negative 2 will actually come here. So, we are now going to have the ln of 1 plus x divided by x is now going to be negative 2 multiplying the ln of 1 over 2. So, this the relationship between this uh, negative 2, the relationship between this negative 2 and ln of half is multiplication. I want to change the relationship to division. So, in that case, we are going to have uh, we are going to have the ln of 1 plus x divided by x is now equals uh, the ln of 1 divided by 2 uh, divided by negative 1 over 2. That means I change it to multipl uh, from multiplication to division now. So if that is the case, still, when we consider the argument from both left and right hand side to be the same because to uh, from the numerator I have ln appearing in both and from the denominator I don't have any ln. If that is the case, let me assume that x is equals to negative uh, 1 over 2. If x is now equals to minus 1 over 2, let's see whether the equation will balance. So let me finish it up here please. So if x is equals to uh, minus 1 over 2. So, 1 uh, plus, in this case, is going to be 1 minus 1 over 2. My memory is uh, 1 minus 1 over 2 because we assume x to be 1 over 2, uh, minus 1 over 2. Uh, it's now going to be 1 minus half. is now going to be uh, half 1 over 2. So we can see that 1 over 2 is in our right hand side. So the only solution to the only solution to this particular equation is that uh, x is equals to minus 1 over 2. So minus, minus 1 over 2 is the is one and only solution to this particular equation. Means this equation clearly shows that uh, the the graph may be reaching uh, is towards the negative side as x approaches uh, uh, infinity. Thank you so much for watching. This is all I have for you for today, my viewers. Don't hesitate to subscribe for more exciting content like this and many more. Bye.